Hello. Yo, Maury, my big buzzy bear. Hi. Where the hell were you last night? Did a bunch of peyote. Stayed inside and pretty much contemplated my universe the holes in my socks. The huge. His name was Balance. He was Warren's childhood friend, his confidant, his wingman. He was never there when you wanted him to be, but always there when you needed him to be. Listen, I need your camera, okay? What do you need my camera for? I don't want to talk about it. We always talk about stuff, and we never do shit, okay? I, I want to do this. Okay. But if you're shooting something, you should at least let me know what it is. I, mean, I can't be associated with, you know, shooting some kind of a granny porn or uh, some sort of, like, a robot android sex film. No, no, Jesus. Man, I just, I just want to make a film. I want to make like, maybe a documentary, maybe. Documentary? All right, cool. I think I want to do this now. Yeah. 2012 thing, you know, like... Uh, Something about what's being really going on in the world. Also, I need a little bit more uh, of that chill weed because uh, I'm starting to freak out a little bit over here. All right, my brother. Give me a heads up when you get over here, okay? Honey? Yes, dear? Babe, what do you think if we did Bougainvillea? I'm stoked for this interview, bro, bro. I, I don't really know him that well. Just... They made a good team, after all. Ever since they were kids, Balance looked to Warren to supply the missions, and Warren looked to Balance to keep them on task. You do the psychological, you know, intellectual type thing, and I will just capture the man's essence, you know what I mean? Not his essence exactly, his aura, his persona. As long as you just don't talk, can you, can you do me a favor? Come here. I'm trying to set a mood here. Man, and, they're gonna be, and they're gonna be here in like any second. Okay. And I, and I don't want you to be here, although I... Hi! How are you doing? Somehow Warren had scored his first major interview. Who are you doing this for? I, I, I've never had, you know, a real focus, you know. We're gonna hit like a major uh, disruption. You know, my whole thing is that we have a really short period of time to um, become conscious of the situation that we're Man, in. You guys are professionals here. Of, um, this is like a real thing. I'm sure. This is great. You know, Line them up. Who's the next one? Line them up. Line them up. I'm ready to go. I want as many people as we can talk to as possible. We're really gonna, we're gonna make a full movie. I mean, I feel it. I don't care what she says. She wants something to say at the wedding. What is Warren doing? Uh, is Warren sitting on his ass? No, he's making a documentary that's gonna save the fucking world. You dig it. Do you have a lighter? We're gonna make magic here, brother. Is that your guy? Beats. You should interview him. You want me to interview you? <laughs> you want me to interview your weed dealer? Yeah, dude, he's totally dialed in, man. No smoking beers, he's and shit like that. Okay. All types of shit. Bates, you want to be in a movie? It's not a porn. Stop. Stop. Bates. How you doing? Why? Sure, he was a drug dealer. Well, Karen and Warren, I know that you voiced some concerns about interfaith marriage and, and how that might affect your raising your children and holidays and in-law. Warren, what the fuck, dude? Why am I getting a voicemail right now? Shit is on. It's happening. I'm on the front line right now down here on Occupy Wall Street. And there's like free sandwiches and stuff. It's awesome. Are we in the words of Jimmy Cliff gonna save our planet Earth? Or are we in the words of Jim Morrison just gonna get our nuts before the whole shit house comes down? I just, I do need you to bring me a battery for the camera because I forgot the battery. Yeah. It's feeding it into us, programming us. There's three ways we can do it. Quickly and cheaply. Our infrastructure will be destroyed. There won't be electricity. There won't be water. We can get it done with money and fast. Or we could get it done no, we, we can't, that's not the... 2012 is a constellation of movement. It's money, but not fast. It would we, take long. Are you done? We will have weather changes, we'll have new mutated disease, which will not be diagnosable. And new species, we call homo sanctus, meaning holy ones. Mm. They typically... They miss their wisdom teeth. And it is usually a sign of... What do you think about that whole Homo Sanctus thing? Yeah. Believe it? Yeah, don't you? We need somebody. We're like the Jedis, right? Did you have your wisdom teeth taken out? And then... Uh, yeah. Structure. You're not Homo Sanctus. 
If you have wisdom teeth, then you are a homosexist. If you don't have wisdom teeth, then you are a homosexist. This guy believes, weren't you listening? He believes that worst comes to worst, that he can eat anything. Plastic, glass, you know, garbage. He could, he could just, he's actually grown and adapted to the pollution, so it actually works for him. You dig what I'm saying? We're lower on the food chain. This guy would eat you and me. Maybe you. Oh, shit. guy's agent sometimes. <laughs> I can tell you that much. <laughs> So if you could just roll due north, that would be awesome, Possum. Thank you, sir. Possum, sir, what street you going to? Just keep heading north for now. Jesus Christ, of all the son of a bitches in New York, I gotta get stuck with these Bro. things. Together again. Think about it. Three months you're away, and on the same night that you're breaking out, I come to bust you out? I mean, what are the chances? Been there for three fucking months? Well, I mean, I had to get all my ducks in order and stuff like that. I mean, don't worry, my bro. The universe is conspiring in your favor now. Humans feel like they're above everything else on this planet, but we're not. We're connected to this planet like everything else is, and everything works together. And there are this signs is good. out there that really things are bad, and we're not doing anything. Powerful. You're like an editor now and shit. That's cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. And friends are the new currency, and they are the only way we're going to make it. not just I feel like we need something big, you know, a big climax, something big at the end. You got to go to Punta Maldonado. Punta Maldonado? Yeah. What's Punta Maldonado? Still fighting the good fight. I did try the ayahuasca, though. What a game changer. Who goes there? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> you son of a bitch. What? Where have you been? I don't know, you man. You left me in the cab. All alone. I, I didn't mean to. I had to. It's I good to see you. It's good to see you. Where have you been? What happened to you? The Illuminati happened to me. No. Yeah, they're chasing me. What? Who they're was all following me. you? CIA, FBI, KGB, KFC, Mickey D's. I think when you were in the hospital, they planted some kind of, like, tracking device in your brain. Really? Here. Wear this metal hat. Um... It will prevent them from tracking your every move. Yeah. Why? Here. Also, take these. I got 500 DVDs of the film in here. It's all up to you. Great job. It's time for me to bounce. No. No, no, you just got here. Don't go. No, don't go. No, ah, remember, brick wall. Waterfall. Don't go. Come on. You just got here. No. 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 